going on guys? Chandler's Lacey Farm here. We're going to be testing the Chance in Hell Machete. CRKT's Chance in Hell Machete. We're going to be testing this thing out. I've already made a video on it earlier talking about it. Put it out, I don't know, a little while back. But that's it. Chance in Hell Machete. We're going to do some chopping on some fat wood here. Uh, we're going to build a fire. See if it'll just strike the fire steel. See if it'll scratch fat wood. All that good stuff. But that's it. Chance in Hell Machete. Comes with a great sheath, by the way, too. A lot of machetes don't come with a, good, a sheath that is this nice. This is a good sheath. That, I really like it a lot. It's not Kydex, I know, but it's a great sheath either way. It, it's really not, not bad at all. Okay, let's see. What do I got going on here? All right, let's, uh, let's pan down. We'll start chopping on some of this old fat wood I found, and uh, we'll see what see what this thing will do. All right, all right. So a machete is for chopping, right? It's actually for slashing small brush stuff like that, right? But we'll see what this thing will do to this fat wood. You can tell it's fat wood. That's for sure. Cause it's got, you can see it, you can, you can smell it, that's for sure. You can see it. See that darkness in there? You can see it, you can smell it. It's definitely fat wood. And fat wood, fat wood is normally a lot harder too. You know, than, than you know, your regular green pine or, or what, or what have you. So, let's see here. Let's get another piece. Let's get another piece. We'll do some chopping with it. This is just a regular old piece of pine. You know, it's about half dead, maybe. Something like that. So, let's see chunks of wood everywhere here. Let's see what the blade's looking like. Oh, it still looks pretty good. Still looks pretty good. I don't see no nicks or anything in it. I mean, it's dirty now, of course. It still looks pretty good. All right, let's uh, let's see here. Let's let's do some batoning. Are we supposed to baton with machete? Hell, I don't know. You baton with whatever you have at the time, right? That's what you do. You use whatever tool you have at the time that you need it. This has got a giant knot right in the middle of it, right there. So, I was really wanting to see what this thing would do. All right, now this is where a machete gets a little wild. Uh, they're thinner, right? So you don't want to bust the wood near as easy as a big thick knife would, right? So, so it takes, man, look at that knot. Look at that knot in there, right there. So a different knife right now may have already busted this open because a machete is so much thinner, you know, and, and, you, and you stand a chance on warping and bending a machete Whenever you're batoning it through something that's this hard. I can hear the wood wanting to break. I can hear it. I'm going to beat it on through there. We're through the knot now. All right. Let's see if we can't bust that open just enough to pull that knife out. All right. There we go. There, some of the coating came off onto the wood. Some of the coating came off, or if it didn't come off, it damn sure blackened the, you know, blackened the wood. You can see it there. You can see there where the coating kind of took took a little bit of punishment there. But the uh, blade itself still looks pretty good. Uh, I think it's all right. All right, now let's uh let's see what it'll do. Let's 
get that big knotty piece of junk wood out of there. Let's see what it'll do with the, uh, see what it'll do here to uh, make some feather sticks. See how comfortable I, I can make this happen. All right. Yeah, it, uh, it ain't not the most fun thing to try to make feather stick with, I'll tell you that. It's, I mean, it's meant for just whacking down shit, not really making feather sticks. It'll do it. Man, it's not, I don't know. Let's me try a different piece of wood here. Let me get into some other stuff I got laying around here. Let's, let's get a little piece out of here, see what happens here. Yeah, this piece here is a little easier to deal with. That's what it is. So, maybe, just maybe. Yeah, look at there. That's a little better. Probably just depends upon, you know, like everything else. It just depends on the wood you grab. You know, whatever piece of wood you got. Some pieces of wood are better than others. All right, this here's another piece, and it looks like probably the litter made to this one. So, we'll see if this part of that same stick of wood does any better not really I mean this is the same species of wood it's all yellow pine you know but it just don't man it's just the difference in you know how old how old the wood is well let's go ahead and see if we can't See what we can do with this big piece of shit that I busted. See what it see what it looks like. See what kind of feathers it makes. There we go. Yeah, this one ain't too bad. Yeah, it just depends on the wood, man. It really does. But we don't worry about that one or that one. Let's see. Where in the hell? There it is. See if this thing will scratch some fat wood. We already got a little feather stick made here. Let's see if it'll scratch fat wood. I don't think it will. I don't think the back of the spine is sharp enough to do that. Yeah, it will too. Boy, that handles. And it's great in this position. In this position, the handle is great. But to turn it kind of sideways in your hand in order to scrape fat wood, yeah, it's not the most comfortable this right here really digs into my knuckle it's kind of like glock knuckle you know <laughs> anybody ever shot many glocks they don't know exactly what i'm talking about but i'm not knocking glocks i love glocks they're about my favorite handgun so anyway it will scratch some fat wood look at that shit. sweet it will scratch it it will do it all right i like that like that a lot. All right. Well, it'll scratch fat wood. Most of the time, if something will scratch some fat wood, it will usually, usually now, usually scratch a uh, uh, strike fire steel too. Usually. So, get this shit kind of piled up here. All right. Let's see. Where the hell is the fire steel? There it is. All right. Let's see what this thing does here. Let's just see. It goes well it will strike it it's not very looking good at it though it's not very good at striking fire steel but it will do it it's just not very good at it all right Whew. smoky fire there we go there we go guys the ken onion designed chance in hell machete Ken Onion Design Chance and Hell Machete from CR, CRKT. There's your sheath. There's your knife. Chance and Hell. Would it be my first pick? Would it be my first pick for a survival knife? No, it would not be my first pick for a, for a survival knife. Man, I can't speak. Look at that. Got it going on there. 
So, but for a machete, you know, yeah, for doing the tasks that you're gonna do with a machete, hell yeah, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Put the lanyard on there, wrap it around your hand, just for whacking shit, hell yeah. I mean, great knife, great knife. Great machete, I should say, for that. All right. The coating, sure, I don't think it's gonna hold up real well. I don't believe, but it's the same steel as the uh, Camp 10. It's the 65 MN, I believe that's what it is. But uh, I really love my uh, my Camp 10, my Kershaw Camp 10, I love it. So, so I mean, it's a better woods, it, it would be a better woods knife, better survival knife than this. Just because this is too thin and the, the handle is really only made the handle is only meant to be held in one position you know what i mean i mean you can put your thumb up here to do some push cuts and stuff but i mean it's it's just meant for this position whenever you go to turn it sideways in your hand to scratch stuff yeah it don't it just it does not it is not very comfortable and when i turn it sideways in my hand it's also it's also barely long enough i've got extra large hands and uh, my, my hands right here is really, really wide from here to here anyway. So, so yeah, woods knife, no. Brush cutter, hell yeah, and that's what it was meant to do, right? Cut brush. All right, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. I know, well, uh, I'll see you later. Uh, we'll come back and do something else, I'm sure of it. Uh, if you like what I've been doing, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we will see you.